throughout my history Your faithfulness has walked beside me The winter storms made way for spring In every season From where I'm standing Hey Emma, the first thing I want to do is tell you how much I love you. I love you with my whole heart. You are a ray of sunshine in this dark world. You are so beautiful on the outside, but you are all more beautiful on the inside. You, um, your journey has been um, such a blessing to so many people. All the pain and suffering that you have been through is not in vain. There's so many people who have come to Christ through this. Um, I've gotten messages from so many random people who say they don't pray, but because of this, 
they have been praying for you and um, your testimony has just touched so many people and brought so many people closer to God. Um, your family, friends, people that don't even know you. I go to the grocery store and people say, oh, how's Emma doing? Or just know that I've been praying for Emma. And I go to the pharmacy to pick up my, my prescriptions. The, the lady at the pharmacy is like, how's Emma doing? I've been praying for her. Um, there's just people everywhere. You will have no idea um, how many people have been um, praying for you. And um, it's just so touching to see everybody come together. And um, I know that the reason that you were home is only because of the prayers and only because of God. And um, I am eternally grateful to him for bringing you through this. And um, I knew he would. I'm not going to lie. There were times that I let my fear take hold, but there's always been that person uh, to pick me up and to, to say, hey, no, stop, stop. It's not. She's healed. And um, I'm thankful for those people, and I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for my whole entire family because you are the glue that holds us together. You are such a special person, and I strive to be like you. And even before this happened, I've... I've just looked up to you. You may be younger than me, but your life has been an example that that I look up to. And you were just a good person. And I just know that I love you from the bottom of my heart. And um, I hope this video touches you. Um, I've looked at these videos over and over again. And I wish I could have gotten more. But, you know, I can't blame people for not wanting their... Um, videos taken but know that if they're not in this video that you know they love you we all do and um i just pray that god will be with you and just know that i will never stop praying for you and um i just love you and i'm so thankful hi emma my name is cindy sutton and you do not know me I substituted for Heidi, your aunt, while you were in the hospital when you first got put in. I want you to know how much I have prayed for you. My church, Cameron Presbyterian Church, has prayed for you. And we're just so happy and thrilled to have such good news that you're getting better. We serve a mighty God who's capable of everything. It's just beyond our imagination what all he can do. And he has taken care of you. He's taken care of your family. And he has plans for you, girl. Continue to improve. And I can't wait to see pictures of you with your babies. Bye. Hello, Emma. <clears throat> My name is Pam. Pam Melchin. I'm from Carthage, and the way I heard about <clears throat> your misfortune is through my grandson, who is a friend of Richard Upchurch's, and I just want you to know I've been standing with you every inch of the way from the minute I found out what was happening. God just gave me a deep tremendous burden for you that just would not quit 24-7. I am so thankful to God for what he has done for you. God bless you and your family. Hey, Emma. i seen that somebody in your family was doing video requests for you. And I think that's something special. I know you probably really don't know me. I am Robin. I think you know my daughter Ivy and my daughter Lily probably. But I just wanted to let you know that I've been following your story since the night Joseph requested prayers for you and you went to the ER. Um, I have been praying for you, my church friends, my outside church friends, so many have been praying for you. And I knew, Emma, 
I knew that you were going to pull through this. I didn't know how long it was going to take. But I knew in my heart that you were going to come through this for your babies, for your husband, for your stepdaughter, for all of your family and friends. I knew that you were going to be a walking, talking testimony. And that's what you are, girl. And I cannot wait for you to get on your feet and back to 100%. Get your strength back and give your testimony. I am just waiting to hear it. I know it's going to make my heart melt. But you just keep fighting and you keep staying strong. And we are going to continue to praise the Lord because we know that he had his hands on you during this whole time. But we're just going to praise him through this storm and thank him for what he has brought you through. Love you, girl. You take care. Hey, Emma. Uh, we're the Abercrombies from Gainesville, Georgia. This is my daughter, Tammy. Hi. Bachman. This is my husband, Johnny. Hello. And I'm Pat Abercrombie. And we're uh, Randy Abercrombie's, uh, I'm the mo his mother, his father, and his sister. So I wanted you to know that <sighs> through your journey, <laughs> I get a little emotional. Because I know how good God has been to you. But all through your journey, as soon as Tammy um, had contacted us and asked us to pray for you, we have diligently prayed for you and your husband and your two little babies and all that family that have taken care of you. And we can only give God the glory for what he has done. Uh, we prayed and asked him to guide the hands of the physicians as they work with you and on you. We ask for strength for your husband. We ask that uh, the Lord be with the family members that was taking care of your babies and that mostly, you know, we did ask God that he would heal you and restore you. But he yeah. would use this, what has happened to you, for his glory. And ironically um we were going to do this my husband just came out of the hospital yesterday we were going to do this and this morning as i was watching my preaching at six o'clock uh jensen franklin talked about us giving uh god the glory for what he had done and if we don't give god the glory for what he has done he says that uh, he will allow the worm to eat us up devour us and we of course know that's the he that reference is to uh, satan the enemy but my my prayer has been that god would use this uh your testimony as a testimony to his glory and his goodness and that would there would be many many people that are going to see your testimony and hear it and uh, he will receive the glory for this but just know that we'll continue to pray for you each and every day uh, we lift you up um, it might not be at the same hour every day but as you come into my mind and my heart i know personally i will pray for you and i will i will also and that's our commitment and again we are the abercrombies from georgia and we love you emma uh, i almost feel like i know you personally because of our walk um, and i want to see and hear your testimony and when all this is over and you get to go home with them babies, I hope you'll continue to post good things to us. And we love you and God bless you. Get well you soon. and your family. And your husband has been really a trooper and a strong man. And, you know, that's a godly thing. When you've got a, a good godly man, that, that's a diamond right there. <laughs> so, anyway, hope you shine. Bye-bye. Hey Emma, my name is Randy Abercrombie. I'm Ashton's favorite uncle. You can ask her if you want. <laughs> but I don't know if you know my story. Uh, I got through stage four head and neck cancer. And um, you just have the faith that God has got everything in control. So I just want you today to have a peace of mind knowing a lot of people's praying for you. So um, back when I was going through this and people was praying for me, I knew God had everything in control, but I needed to do my part by just uh, fighting and just keeping my head up. And so 
hang in there. We love you. We don't even know you, but we love you and your family. And God has you and your whole family in the palm of his hands. So you just hang in there, girl, and keep fighting. Hold it. <laughs> and I'm Tammy. And um, I've been wearing my bracelets that Sophia made to remind me to pray for you. Of course, I do often. And um, today in church, we sing a song that I thought just reminded me of you all over in that it was even when we don't see it and even when we don't feel it, he's working. And I know that there's been that time that you've been asleep through this whole process, but he's been working and healing you. He's been working in people's lives who have been praying for you. People who maybe have not had a very strong faith have watched what he's done in your life. And this same song was a song that uh, we had done the Sunday that Randy went forward after he found out he was cancer free. And we had people gather around us who had prayed for us. And it ends with, you know, the chorus of Waymaker, Miracle Worker, Promise Keeper, Light in the Darkness. That is who you are. And that's who God is. And we know he's working in your life in all ways. We're going to continue to pray for you until you're home. And we can see you, hug you, and rejoice with you that you've been healed. Hello, Emma. This is Vernon and Sue Davis, and we're the grandparents of Ashlyn. And we've been praying for you for some time now and just holding your situation up before God each day as we pray. And, Lord, we, we know that the Lord will take care of you and answer our prayers. And we have faith that you're going to get better. Hey, Emma, I just wanted to make this quick video and tell you how grateful and thankful I am that you are healing. Uh, I thank God uh, we have been pleading the blood of Jesus over your body for the last month. And God has heard our prayers. And I'm so thankful and grateful. Uh, I have prayed for you almost every single day. You have been so heavy on my heart and in my mind. I've prayed for your little girls. I've prayed for your husband and your mom and your family. Um, I'm so thankful that God has heard our prayers and that he is strengthening you every single day. I cannot wait to see what kind of testimony you have and, and what God does with your life. He has spared you for another day. And I, I cannot wait to see how you, uh, how he uses you for the kingdom of God. And, um, I'm so thankful that you're here. I cannot wait for you to be able to get out of the hospital and see those babies. I know that you're like itching to get out of the hospital to go see them. And I know they can't wait to see their mommy. So I am so thankful. Uh, everybody has been praying on your behalf. Our twin mom group, a lot of people in that mom group have been praying for you and asking for updates. And you've been heavy on a lot of people's hearts. Um, my church family have been praying for you almost daily. And, you know, a lot of them are following your story and they're giving in praise reports and, I'm just so thankful that God has moved on your behalf and is going to continue to strengthen you. And I cannot wait to see what he does with your life. Love you so much. I'm still praying for you. And you're a miracle. And uh, I love you. Hey, Emma, it's Judy. I just wanted to let you know how proud I am of you. And I just wanted to tell you that we are behind you 100%. And you just keep on improving the way you're improving and you keep up the faith and you keep doing you Emma we love you bye hey Emma just wanted to let you know how much I have been thinking about you praying for you and just wishing that everything turns out um, like it is at this point um, just wanted to let you know what a truly bright light you are in this world um, and how much you've proven what faith prayer and God can do. Um, just keep on keeping on, girl. We love you. Say, Emma, we love you. Emma, I love you. Say, we hope you get better. I hope you get better. We're praying for you. We're praying for you. Give her kisses. <laughs> we love you, Emma. We're praying really big for you guys. Keep strong. Hey, girl, I'm looking a hot mess. I just felt a little moved today. 
uh, hang in there. God is good all the time and he's faithful. And there's always a purpose for what God does. Um, we're right there, that verse, Romans 8 and 28. He works all things together for the good, for those that love God, those called according to his purpose. And you know you're called, you know you love God. He's going to work all things out for your good. I love you, girl. Be encouraged. Hey, Emma. This is the D group. We're at Beulah, and it is our women's group. And we just wanted to tell you how much we have been praying for you and your family. And I actually want to show you something. We um, have been doing this for like maybe three, four, maybe five weeks. Yeah, I have no judgment of time. Um, but we have a prayer request sheet. And the very first week that we did it, your name is at the top. So we have been praying for you and praying for your healing and praying for your recovery. And we know that God is so good and he is going to use you. And we're so proud of you and we love you. And how we do the prayer request is we check off when we see that the Lord has fulfilled it. So we are keeping you on there because you were not checked off until you were home with your babies and you were healthy. So know that you have continued prayer and we love you. Thanks. Hello, Emma. Well, I have been constantly thinking about you and praying for you. And I cannot wait until you are home. You know how I feel about you. I love you to pieces. You know I really love you if I'm making a video for you because I don't like to see myself on cameras. I don't like to see myself on FaceTime. So you know how much I love you. I can't wait to give you a big hug and a big old kiss. I miss you like crazy. Um, I think I keep finding myself talking to your chair in our room. I keep saying I'm gonna go and I'm gonna buy a cutout picture, tall, lifelike, and just stand it over by your mirror in our room. And that way I can just talk to that. Um, I'm constantly texting you, like you're probably so sick of hearing me texting you now that you're reading them back. Cause I think I've texted you the whole time you've been asleep. Um, because I was not gonna accept anything other than you being well. So there was no other option but you waking up and being fine. Um, so there's that. I knew God was gonna heal you um, because there was no one else that were, that's going to take care of Brinley and Tegan but you. So, um, you know I'm not really good at this, so I can't wait till you get home. Um, or I can come see you at the hospital and drive you crazy. Um, I love you so much and I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to see Brinley and Tegan. They're probably not going to know who I am anymore. But that's okay. I can, they can relearn who I am. Um, I love you to pieces. I love Joe to pieces. And if I can do anything while you're healing, please let me know. Um, kisses and hugs from me to you. Um, okay, bye. Hey Emma, I hardly have any makeup on, so this is why I have my filter I'm on my way to work. But I just want to tell you that I love you and I'm so proud of you. And you are the strongest person I know. Um, God, this is nothing but God. God has been so good, and your testimony is going to be so huge. You have already touched so many lives, and I'm, there's so many people that ask and pray about you, like my boss, my coworkers. And they they live in Cary. They don't even know you, so like you're touching so many people. Um, but I just wanted to say, like Grandma and Daryl and I have been praying for you so much. Daryl asked for you every single day that you, he was in the hospital. He loved you so much. And um, he, he woke up the day before his funeral. So that's nothing, nothing but God. God is so good. And I cannot wait to see you back home with those babies. And I just cannot wait to see you doing good and everything. And who cares if you lose a few toes? It's okay. I love you. Bye. Hey, Emma. It's me. Um, I miss you and I love you. And I am so very proud of you. I think you're doing a wonderful job. I think that you are staying so strong. And 
I think that you are doing such an amazing job of leaning on Christ during all of this. I know times like these would defeat other people, but I know your heart is so, your heart is so special for the Lord. And so I, I know that you're, you're, you're pulling through this and you are leaning on God and, um, you're going to get through this and you're going to go back home soon and I'm going to come knocking on your door soon and I cannot wait. I love you. I miss you so much. I am ready for my best friend to come home. I need you. Um, but that day will be the best day ever and I can't wait to see you soon. Keep fighting the good fight. Keep staying strong. Keep holding God's hand keep praying, keep praising, keep singing. Um, you are doing amazing and you are a miracle. And I'm glad, I, I, I love that I get to know a miracle. Um, just because it's just the true testimony of God. And I brag about you every single day at work. I don't let anybody not know who you are. And I let them know that God saved you and who you are because all it takes is one person to hear that story for it to impact right and your life is going to impact other people's lives and so through the celebration of your life we're going to be celebrating the lives of others too um so i love you i've said that so many times but i mean it i love you so much i miss you so much and you're gonna be home soon and like i said i'll be knocking on your door I'll do whatever you need me to do. I'll attempt to cook dinner for you if you need me to. It might not be the best. It's not gonna be as good as your dinner, but I'll make it. Um, all right, so it's just a short little video just to tell you that. And um, I hope you love all the other little videos you get because this is so fun. And um, I hope it brings a smile to your face. Love you, girlfriend, and I will see you soon. Hey, Emma, words cannot even explain how much I love you and care about you. I could not even put into words how much I was worried and how many prayers I sent up. Because of this, I've never turned to God more than I have in my life. I've prayed so many times a day. All I wanted, I was like, please give me my friend back. And so many people all over the world were praying for you. I'm so thankful for that, that God healed you, that you get to go home and be back with your girls and be Joe's wife and your mom's daughter. Everyone is so, so, so thankful that you woke up and we could not imagine you not being around us. You're so important to so many people and I'm so thankful to be able to call you my friend. Absolutely cannot wait for us to be able to be around each other again. I have so many stories to tell you and a lot that are gonna make you laugh. So I love you. Thank you for everything you do for me. Hello, my best friend. Um, I just wanted to tell you that I am so proud of you, the strength that you've shown and the impact that you're making on everybody around you is amazing. Um, there's not one doubt in my mind that every bit of the strength is coming straight from God. You have gone to him through this trial and you have praised him through it all. Um, I am just so proud of you. You are such an amazing Christian person, friend, mom. You mean so much to all of us. Um, you're never alone through any of this. I know you have a long road of recovery, but we're gonna be here every step of the way. Um, if there's anything I can do to lift your spirits or help you, I wanna do that. You've always been such a good friend to me through everything I've ever gone through. I've been able to come to you and you mean the world to me. Um, so just know that you're loved, you're prayed for. We all are so amazed by you. We're impacted by you and your attitude and your strength. And God's gonna continue to do the work in you that he's begun. Um, so thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being my best friend and thank you for letting God use you and do such a work through you. You are further in his kingdom and you are making everybody so proud.
All right, well, love you, bye. Hey, Susie, um, I love you and I'm proud of you and I cannot wait until you get back home. Um, we miss you so, so much and the kids ask about you every day. Um, can't wait to have you back and you're stronger than you know and you're gonna beat this and come home um, and you're gonna have one heck of a testimony. Love you. Hey Em, just wanted to tell you that we love you. Glad you're doing better and hope you get better soon. I love you and you've been on our in our prayers and we've had our pastor and a lot of our church staff praying over you too as well as jamie's brother out in minnesota yeah. and all of her church as well as my co-workers at work and all their family and, and church members been praying very hard for you i'm glad you're getting better you got it continue to I'm, do your pt i love you so much i'm so happy you're we love you, bye, love you, bye. I can't love wait you. to see you. Come over here. Hey, Emma. Hello. So I am so thankful that you have pulled through this. I couldn't imagine living my life without you. I kept telling all the nurses at the hospital that you didn't have a choice but to get better. We needed you. And sure enough, God brought you through this, and we're so incredibly grateful for that. We love you so much. Hey Emma, Carson Kelly here, former graduate of Union Pines High School. Um, you probably remember me as Carson. Um, we were really worried about you. Um, it's really nice that you pulled through this and we're all very thankful. I've never cried so much in my entire life, asked Carson. Sophia, do you want to say something? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Carson, tell Emma what you want to say. Uh, hope you feel better soon. You want to say anything, Gracie? We can't wait for you to be home. Bubba, do you want to say anything? Tell Emma, say, I love you so much. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah, my weapon is a melody. 